Salutations, my brothers and sisters of the internet, and people who love shooting sports. This is, as we can see, when someone was racing to open the box, this happened. <laughs> but it's a cheap piece of cardboard, not really nothing, not really nothing great, but you know what you pay for, right? So. What do we have in a box? We have a Chiapa. We have a Chiapa in 22. Um, this one has the it's got a plastic nylon cleaning brush. You got all the manuals in there. Put all that out there. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's uh, pull this out. This is a one of the most economical. Trigger lock in there. Let's see. Let's set this off to the side. Let's look underneath there. See if we got it or anything else in there. And uh, no, it is empty. So, we're empty. Okay, put this in there. And we'll just, uh, just, we'll just mosey that on over there. Because this is what, this is what we want to see right here. Right? This is what we want. Now, size. She feels like she's got a lot of heft to her. Um, the there was a lot of heft on the 1911-22. Now this is the Chiapa 1873-22. Boy, them look like. I mean, do you see the size of it? I mean, it really looks pretty authentic to us. You know, Cowboy Western gun. She's like I said, she's got a lot of weight to her. A lot of weight like that, she'll most likely not uh, not go anywhere like this. But um, let's go ahead and put her down here. Let's look at the sight picture. She's got some fixed sights on her. So uh, what you see is what you get. She's got a nice hard audible clickers on there. And that seems to be what a lot of people like about these is that click I'm trying to figure out how they pulled off that safety though um is there a safety doesn't appear to be well that's nice that's nice i mean if it don't have much of a safety i see this is a rim fire do not dry fire. See, there we go. Always use eye protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. We don't worry about that too much. There's your door. Um, this seems to be definitely more authentic to a cowboy style gun than, say, the Rough Rider. Um, the Rough Rider has a safety built in right here where you can go safe fire safe fire yeah. come on it's just a 22 i mean come on you know this we don't have to go here do we let's see let's see if this takes the cylinder out the same way the rough rider comes out you can just push that in push in there pull that out yes Siri, there she comes. That's out. So I guess the cylinder should just pop right out of there. And she's out. So you could pull that out like that. Let's see. There she goes. She's open. Now that's a nice hefty. I mean, that's big for a affordable gun, I'd say. Um, unlike the 1911-22. I have reason to say that uh, we don't have very many misfires out of this puppy. Yeah, you can see the rimfire firing pin right in there. Um, definitely don't dry fire it by no means, but so she's got an authentic looking claw back here. Golly, that's loud. That's got the noise. So, oh boy, yeah, you can see that thing come forward. Let that thing go back. Let's cock it. Yep, she's out of there. She's out of there. She's in. Out, in. Out. Pew. 
Um, well, uh, just get her back together. See if she locks back up like an old cowboy gun should. Let's get the cowboy gun back to get her. You get her back to get her here. See what she does. Let's see. Yeah, pushing it back in there. Uh, made with pride by Chiapa, family owned and operated since 1958. Um, definitely, that bar is definitely on the tight side. Don't really. Ah, there she goes. Just a little bit of a wiggle of that cylinder. She went right in. So, looks like she's locked in now. She's locked in. Let's see how the click goes. Good click. Close that door up so we can look cool. Let's see. Let's see. Now, I'm not going to let her fly. But, oh, she can. She can do it. So, pow, pow. It you know, oops, has a little bit of finishing. It wasn't a dry fire. It wasn't an all the way fire. But yeah, you can see the rim fire striker in there. It looks like it's that's going to put a bite on that bullet. Let's see if we can get it up in there a little bit so you can see it. Yeah, that's going to put a hell of a whelp on the back of that casing. And then I just kicked the door open. Let's see. Go half cock. Half cock. Got the protrusion. I guess you got to go a little past it. Well, that's not too good. That's not bueno. No bueno, people. Uh, seems to be a little bit of a locker upper there. I don't know. I mean, it's they weren't known for speed reloads in these these times, but. This was a style gun that definitely, definitely did a good job, uh, especially in the full size, big, big calibers. But yeah, I like it. I do like it. And uh, we take it outside, shoot, see where the point of aim is and see if she's repeatable. Uh, may uh, get a scale and weigh her off against the heritage that I've already reviewed. Um, might even try to pull the chronograph out and see what a 4.75 revolver like this versus a 6.75 shooting the same ammo. See if, what the muzzle velocity difference is. I won't go muzzle, I'll go out about 10 feet. But we'll see, you know, maybe I'll... Give me a reason and excuse to set up my chronograph and see what see what the differences are. Um, yeah, that looks like that kind of looks like some poor machining in there. I hope that was meant to be that way because you can see it angles up here and then rides down here. Ah, oh, GIP Firearms Ltd. Dayton, Ohio. Not oh, Dayton. Mm. Uh, uh, didn't know they were in Dayton, but okay. <laughs> I guess that's where this this one was made. So, but we'll uh, we'll put her out on the range, see how she shoots, and maybe do a later video and a comparison of you know 22 LR out of six and a half and four seven five. See what well, there's noticeable difference for having that extra barrel out front. But um, we'll see on the range and see how she shoots and uh, give our thoughts and. You know, impressions out there I don't know what happened in the first video but uh, it didn't record it either. but um, well we fired a uh, fired 12 shots through this um, shoot uh, the ejection seems a little weird that ejector rod it works but it seems a little bit on the weird side um, we will, let me put my eyes and ears, <laughs> okay, eyes and ears, 
Alrighty, let's load her up with six more rounds. Um, she's shooting low and right. Uh, I didn't notice that the patterns, it seemed, seemed to be a little off. Uh, that can up there fell in. I don't know if it was for me hitting the door and the vibration. But we're going to go for that first. I'm going to go after that can and see if we can hit it with her. Um, this gun feels a little more authentic than a Western gun than the Heritage. Uh, just in its sheer size, mass, operation, no safety. But um, even though she seems more authentic, she doesn't seem to aim as good, which is kind of a bump. I really wanted it to shoot better. Yep, we hit it. Um, let's see if we can hit it again. Hit it again. See, I'm having to shoot over the top left corner of the can to get it to hit. But uh, she is getting hit. So the point of aim is not that good. Um, she works. The ejection is something that could use some work. Um, definitely feels more authentic than the Heritage just because the size it seems to be built more to you know large big bore caliber western gun size um but and then it seems like this thing kind of hangs up on the yeah it doesn't doesn't go all the way through until you really uff on it i don't know why that is but uh yeah it looks like some machining tooling in there um but I mean, all in all, it works. Uh, the aim is, you know, wildly off compared to the Heritage Rough Rider. And, but price-wise, she's comparable. But once you figure out where her point of aim is and where she's shooting, you should be able to repeat or have repeatable uh, shots in the group where you wanted. But you gotta find out where your gun's aiming. It could be, uh, 180 degrees is where mine was but we will uh put her away and i will see you in the next video till then keep shooting